Louis the Stammerer French, Louis Le Bègue, the 1st of November 846 to the 10th of April 879 was the king of Aquitaine and later the king of West Francia. He was the eldest son of Emperor Charles the Bald and Ermintrude of Orléans. Louis the Stammerer was physically weak and outlived his father by only two years. He succeeded his younger brother Charles the Child as the ruler of Aquitaine in 866 and his father in West Francia in 877, but he was never crowned emperor. In the French monarchical system, he is considered Louis II. Louis was crowned king on 8 October 877 by Hincmar, Archbishop of Reims, at Compiègne and was crowned a second time in August 878 by Pope John VIII at Troyes while the Pope was attending a council there. The Pope may have even offered him the imperial crown, but it was declined. Louis had relatively little impact on politics. He was described a simple and sweet man, a lover of peace, justice, and religion." In 878, he gave the counties of Barcelona, Girona, and Besalú to Wilfred the Hairy. His final act was to march against the invading Vikings, but he fell ill and died on 9 April or 10 April 879, not long after beginning this final campaign. On his death, his realms were divided between his two sons, Carloman II and Louis III of France. Family During the peace negotiations between his father and Erispoi, Duke of Brittany, Louis was betrothed to an unnamed daughter of Erispoi in 856. It is not known if this was the same daughter who later married Gurevant. The contract was broken in 857 after Erispoi's murder. Louis was married twice. His first wife Ansgard of Burgundy had two sons, Louis born in 863 and Carloman born in 866, both of whom became kings of West Francia, and two daughters, Hildegard born in 864 and Gisela 865 to 884. His second wife Adelaide of Paris had one daughter, Ermintrude 875 to 914 and a posthumous son, Charles the Simple, who would become, long after his elder brother's deaths, King of West Francia. <laughs> <laughs> Ancestry <laughs> Notes <laughs>